Hello, everybody. How are you? I am so excited to be here. This is day three of manifesting and creating in 2024. I am so excited to be here. Um, it's 11-11 on January 11th. How many 11s is that? Seven, seven elevens, right? That's the lucky number. That is the power of creation. That is being in that wave of um, bringing everything that you want to you with lots of luck. So you are so lucky, yes, lucky, so guided to be here in this moment because you were called to be here in this moment if you're here. So congratulations, amazing, yes, I am so excited. Hi, Wei. I am actually also going to open up my cell phone because yesterday I was started receiving messages uh, like the comments and then all of a sudden Facebook decided no longer to no longer show me any messages that, or any comments that anyone was um that anyone was uh writing so let me know if you can hear me because sometimes my cell phone decides to get on my uh earpods if um if i have them on and i want to make sure that uh it's still going on through you okay so today is day three of manifesting and creating if you have been here the last two days and you have done the homework you should be all ready today to gather the last piece of this manifesting and creating workshop so that you can really begin to put the tools together and begin to use them for your benefit and create the uh, life that you are wanting and desiring okay so yay thank you way for letting me know that you can hear me thank you thank you thank you i love you sending you so much love so excited to be here um my energy is really high when i am feeling free i am sharing this because when there are people in my house like let's say my my husband or my child or or like an aunt or somebody yeah i don't feel as free to speak like this and this is my true energy this is how i am and i notice that i hold back my energy when there are people around for here's the big word fear the fear of being um judged of um being told to that i'm too much or something because this has been told to me in the past and so i want this is coming through to share with you because so many people are waking up right now and are becoming aware of things and it is being in your light in your joy and being you and being able to be you that creates the life that you want so when we suppress our uh, ourselves like our our life like how we want to be how we want to speak the the tone of our voice the loudness of our voice the things that we want to say when we begin to suppress that because of fear of being judged by others um then we're not as um in in such great alignment to have things happen for us as quickly as they could and i'm sharing this with you because if you're here on my page and i've been uh this group is about three years old um and a lot of you are, have worked with me one-on-one, -on -one, you know that I have done a lot of work. And I myself have also um, gone through these things as well, right? I also have these fears that come to me because I'm still in my human body. And so I'm sharing because I want you to know that if you are going through something like this, where you have fear of speaking your mind, of doing the things that you want, of just sharing your energy the way that you are called to be that brings you joy, it's normal and we all go through with it so don't um put yourself down don't uh judge yourself like oh i can't do it like she does or or someone else that you may be following because we all have our ups and down moments right and so you are just perfect just the way you are and i'm sharing this for you so that you have this point of reference that oh it is normal oh you know that happens to her too yes it does guys i'm human i am living in a human body okay so i do have all of the humanness things that happen um when you are in the human body living the human experience all right so if you're here please say hello today is day three i'm going to briefly uh go back oh another thing somebody posted somebody asked a question yesterday do we need to repeat the um 
the affirmations, the I am affirmations for 21 days straight, right? Now that did not come out in any of the teachings in the last two days. However, I know because I've studied this before and I've done this before, that it takes the human brain at least 21 days to rewire something, uh, to rewire your brain, right? So this is the science of it. And um, if that came up for you, if you're thinking, oh, should we do that? Then the answer is yes. If that came up for you and you're questioning it, somebody else asked, do we uh, put the, the hands on prayer or do we put them on our heart, right? Which one feels better for you, right? And then do that because you are your own individual person. So whatever it feels right, like, oh, is this what I want to do? Or is this what I want to do? Like, which one feels better for you? Which one do you feel more comfortable doing? Which one was the first thought, the first idea that you got? That's the one that is right for you. So again, this is not a blanket where everything works exactly the same verbatim for every single person. You have to take the lessons as you're receiving them and go with the ones that are resonating with you and leave the ones that don't. Every single time with anyone you follow, with anyone that is teaching you something, every single time you need to just take the parts that resonate with you and leave the ones that don't because you are different than everyone else. You are unique. Okay. Oh, hi, Jessica. Okay. So, um, thing and what was the third thing okay so yesterday um a question came up and i'm going to ask you here again to begin this third day and the question was who are you answer the question who are you and you're not allowed to say your profession like what you do for a living or a mother or father or a, a wife or husband right and this is when the um, messaging or the comments stopped being shown to me. So I wasn't able to see any of them. Um, and because I didn't see any of them, I did not, um, I did not continue. Right. And so, so now I'm starting with that because I didn't tell you the second part. All right. So the first thing is write down and you can put it here in the comments if you feel comfortable. Or you can write it on your own notebook while you're taking notes. Who am I, right? Who are you? Who are you? If I ask you, hey, who are you? And you can't tell me, I am a healer, you're a healer. Uh, or a um, construction worker, if you're a construction worker, or a nurse, if you're a nurse, right? You can't say that. You can't say, I'm a, uh, I'm a mother. You cannot say, I'm a wife, right? And don't go off that trail either of like, I'm a daughter, or I'm a sister, or I'm an aunt, okay? Don't go down that road. Tell me, who are you, right? And this is really key and important because once you figure out who you are, and I think Jessica wrote, I am light, something about the light, um, and it felt really good for you. And then when I read the, the comment later on, I forgot that it was the response to that question. And I was like sending different things. And I was like, oh, wait, wait, this is what she's saying about to that question. So then I just retrieved my message. So I just wanted to let you know about that, Jessica, that your statement was perfect. Um, just say it without the question mark, right? Like, are you questioning who you are, right? So find out and figure out who you are, right? And get that clear. Why is this important? Because the next question is, if you are fill in the blank, then what do you want to create, manifest, be, feel while you're being this, right? So if I say I am a mother, and then I'm creating my I am statements for manifesting, I might write, I am a great mother, um, or I cook all my meals from scratch and they're all nutritious. And now what I'm doing is gearing my I am statements to the role of being a mom and my child, which is not for me. Does that make sense? It's connected, but it's not all about me. And what we're working on doing here is creating the correct the, the statements that is in your highest good for you so that you can be the best that you can be for you. And once you're doing that and your cup is full and you're feeling amazing, then you can fill in all the other roles of being a mom or a husband or a wife or uh, fill in the blank of what you do as a career and serve in that role to your highest um, 
to your highest ability. Does that make sense? So this is what that is the question, right? So the question is, who are you? Again, can I say I'm a mom or a wife or your career, right? And fill that in, get clear on who you are. And then once you have that clarity, then you can begin to really tweak the state, the I am statements. Okay. Now um, I posted yesterday, I was up to like 53 things. And then of course I worked on it some more and I uh, ended up with 92 different I am statements. Okay. And I do it on my, uh, so I'm going to show you, right? So here's like page, I number them, right? Notice how they get longer. I started with the like, short ones, right? I want to show you, I started with short ones and notice how they grew, right? There's like sentences. And this is because this is what happens when you begin to tune into your higher self and you begin to get excited and you begin to dream more and then you have bigger things coming up, okay? All right, so the homework was, number one was to ground or breathe, right? So taking a deep breath in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Let's do two more of those. And last one. Just by doing that breath three times, it brings you back to center. It calms your nervous system. And it allows you to return to you without the fears, without the anxiety, without the fight or flight uh, of the stresses of every day. So if you're feeling stressed, angry, sad, scared, take those three breaths. You might be doing this throughout the day a couple of times each time you see something that that throws you off, but that's the first thing you want to do. Then the second thing was make a list of your I am uh, statements of what you want to manifest in the present, right? So I am healthy. I am strong. I am a healer. I am um, powerful. I am rich. Whatever it is that comes up for you, write it down, right? So you make your list. Then the next thing was to um, to revise them and make sure that they're all in the positive present place. So like not, you don't want to say, I am not sick. You don't want to say, I am pain free because now you're mentioning pain and your brain is going to pain. So you want to say, I am healthy or I feel amazing or my body feels light and healthy all the time, right? So you want to put the statement in that um in that uh, positive way so say hi if you're here and then write down in the comments if you if this is uh if this is um resonating with you if you've been here in the last two days let me know as well if not i pin uh, the other two videos on the top so you can go back and see them and do that homework as well um this is the way that i i work with my one-on-one -on -one clients okay we look into what it is that they're needing at the time to heal we zero in it then we do a healing and then they get homework and then the homework it's done right after right so like after the session that day that night whatever right and then you have something to do that week before we meet again so that you are actually doing the work for you you are actually learning how to do it you're noticing how you're feeling all of that and then when we meet again we get to discuss all the things that you just went through discover uh breakthroughs or or blockages that you came up with and then we work from there and then you get another lesson and another homework for the following week so this is how you grow so quickly when you're working with me one-on-one -on -one. so you're getting like a mini sample of this on this three minute workshop that is going boom 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 and you're doing all the work one day after the other so let me know if you're getting more clarity because of this workshop if you're getting um if you're, if you're finding more purpose in you, if you're finding that you are actually doing the work because we know how we are when we're like, oh yes, I have all those tools. I know I should meditate, but there's no one there telling you, hey, this is due tomorrow, right? Like when you're in school or something and then you don't do it. So that's the power of having that, that homework and that linkage and that support that holds you accountable so that you can actually do the work and then you can realize that, hey, you're the healer you're the one manifesting you're the one who has all of these powers right it's not me this is why this group is called healing through you i'm not the healer 
I'm just holding space for you, the healer, right? So the energy is going through you for you to be able to manifest and do all the things that you want to do. All right. So um, after you have that, I'm going to get my notes here for uh, day three. That's day one, day two. Okay. So um, the last thing that we talked about yesterday was to... Um, read out loud your list of statements of I am statements you read them out loud and as you're reading them out loud you're going to feel what resonates and what doesn't and then you can tweak the ones that don't or even cross them out or rewrite them in a way that is positive or um in the light as opposed to from coming from the fear part right so that's what you were supposed to do and then the next part was record yourself saying these statements after you've revised them record yourself saying them so that you can listen to them through the night right and the lesson is you put after you record yourself repeating every single one of those statements that you created uh there's uh just like a record me thing on your phone that you can do it you put it on the lowest possible um volume you let it you put it on loop and you let it play through the night as you're falling asleep because when you fall asleep your brain goes into, um, I think it's called the theta uh, wave, and that is the part where your subconscious begins to get rewired. So whatever you tell your subconscious as you're falling asleep, is that, that place when you're awake and then you're falling asleep, it's like right in the middle, that place, that is the most powerful spot for you to rewire your subconscious and put in your subconscious the new narrative that you want to be the new narrative that you want to create and get rid of the old narrative of I'm not good enough, right? And, or I can't do this, or life is hard, or I have to work hard in order to make money. So all of those things are the old narratives, right? And the new narrative is what you are creating with your um, I am list. So you want to do that and leave it like that. And this is where somebody asked me, do we do this for 21 days straight? And I answer, if this is coming up for you, then yes for you, okay? Um, they have not told me for how long, but I would do it until I manifest all the things or most of the things that are important to me. And what's going to happen is that after listening to this about a week, you are going to see things manifested. After just one week, you will see things manifested. And then you're going to get excited because you're going to see that, hey, this actually works, right? And let me tell you, the things that are the easiest, so let's say I, I write, I am love, I am healthy, I am strong, and then I write, um, I am joyful, and then uh, my dog makes me laugh, and I'm cracking up and laughing, and then I think, oh, I am joyful, this is what I meant, and I just manifested this, right? And it might be that you laugh every day with your animal, or with your kids, or with something that you watch, but it is the fact that you are connecting the two that you wrote it and now you are aware that you are that makes your list your subconscious that say and think oh this is true and therefore if this is true then the other big thing that you're wanting to manifest must also be true do you see where this works right so if i'm saying i'm joyful and i'm laughing and i make that connection and I'm like, oh, that was on my list. I am joyful. I am laughing right now, right? So if I created this, even though you were doing it before, it doesn't matter, then that means everything else that you wrote on that list is also true and is also manifesting and is also here for you now. So that is how you begin to uh, believe more in your list that it works and that what the work that you're doing is actually working for you. Jessica says, do we need to wear headphones or just have it playing next to us? Okay, so that is really up to you. Um, I don't like going to sleep with headphones because then I feel like I can hear if anything else happens. Like what if my son gets sick in the middle of the night? I don't hear him, right? Sometimes my dog has seizures. What if he has a seizure? Like he jumps off the bed. If he jumps off the bed in the middle of the night, like I wake up, right? Like it's that mother instinct. And it's like, oh, I need to see what he needs, right? Maybe he needs to go out. It doesn't matter. So I need to be alert. So a lot of times I do go to sleep with one headphone in and not the other. So I have more of that awareness, but it is not necessary. So um, if you live alone or if you sleep in a room alone, you can put your phone or even your laptop if you record it on that 
uh, on the lowest on the lowest uh, volume, which means you're not really hearing it. Does that make sense? You don't really hear it. It's in the background. So that's the subconscious creation of um, of rewiring your subconscious. Um, so you can just leave it like that and just let it play. So you put it on a loop, right? So I've done a, several of these for myself on my cell phone. They're, they've been very short. Like this is going to be a really long list that I'm going to record. I haven't recorded it in mind yet because I was still working on it yesterday. So, um, but I will do that today. And then you just let it play overnight. And then you're going to feel the difference in the morning, right? Especially if you put, I am happy on your list. And if you didn't put, I am happy and joyful, I suggest that you do. <laughs> Okay, because it is so good. Okay, so, um, and again, guys, whatever feels best for you is what you do. I am giving you the teachings as they're coming through, and you are taking how it resonates for you and how it works for you, right? So, um, Certain things don't work for everybody, right? Like, let's say somebody is saying you need to go for um, a 30 minute walk every day. And let's say somebody is like ill and can barely move. Half an hour of walking every day is not going to work for them. And they're going to be really um, depressed, judge themselves, and then just give up because they can't do it, right? So if, like, if the message was, hey, go for a 30 minute walk, it's like, okay, I'm going to go for a one minute walk today. I can do that and see if you can do that, right? And I'm, I know I'm putting it towards this uh, example, but I want you to, to make the connection and the relation that you take the lesson and you do what, con what, what works best for you as long as you're doing something towards it, right? And so let's say I'm walking one minute and then I'm like, oh, this is great. I actually, I think I can do another minute and I'll do another minute and I'm going to work myself up to the 30 minutes this is the same thing for meditating because a lot of people are like i can't meditate my brain is going in, the, in all different places i don't have time for half an hour right so this happens all the time so okay don't just say well i can't do it she said 30 minutes so i'm not going to do anything no okay i'm going to try three minutes can i do three minutes i can do three minutes i go to the bathroom for more than three minutes <laughs> right so like i can i can take three minutes of the day and meditate and just quiet my mind and breathe i can do that and then if you master that, then you up it to five. And then maybe you want to up it to seven, right? And then you work your way up. And then maybe you do get to 30 minutes and maybe you don't. But guess what? Something is better than nothing, right? If you're not doing anything and you're getting the teachings of, hey, this is the tool, use this tool, and you um, make it work for you, for the way that you are, where you are right now, then that little bit of something that you do is going to be leaps for you. It's going to bring you so much further. And for that, you need to celebrate yourself, okay? It's not about, oh, I didn't do the whole 30 minutes. It's more of like, I did something that was different and that was in addition to, that can help me get to where I want to go, okay? All right, any other questions, guys? Just drop them in the comments. If you have anything else, say hi if you're here. Um, if you are really getting a lot out of this uh, mini workshop that you're receiving here, then I encourage you to, if you're looking for more support, to reach out to me because I have uh, different ways to work with me where I can guide you exactly in your journey. Um, so just let me know about that if you're feeling like, oh, this is like I'm getting so much. Imagine this is a free workshop right here and I give so much. Imagine if you're receiving a lot out of this, how it would be if you're in a container that is geared exactly for you to get to where you want to go, right? Because all of my clients come to me with like, hey, I want this, and then that's what they get, right? So I, for example, I had like one of my very first uh, clients that came to me for, for a dream weaving you. She said, oh my gosh, I wish I could do what you do. I'm like, what does that mean? And she's like, like you know, like connect and get messages and stuff. She started working with me within six weeks, like exactly on the sixth week that we were working together. So it was a sixth session. She was communicating with her grandmother who had crossed over. Six weeks, people, right? That's like nothing, right? How many times have we sat on the couch or in our bed thinking about what we want to do and create and we do nothing? And then in six weeks, you can be doing the thing that you are wishing to do, right? So it's it's all about making a decision and moving forward all right so here's the next thing 
after you have done your list and now you're playing it at night and you are uh, rewiring your brain, um, you to ask how long, how many days. You do it until you start seeing the results and then you revise your list because within a week or two, that list, when you read again, you're going to not feel aligned with some things or more new things are going to come up for you. So you're going to revise them and you might want to, you know, redo this, uh, the thing. And the other thing is, um, let's see here. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, remember that when you are creating your list of I am things, the first thing you want to do is calm your uh, nervous system. You want to do that grounding or breathing so that you're in a positive state of mind and not in a fight or flight state of mind while you are creating your statements of what you want to do, your vision, okay? All right, so if we are ready, people, uh, this is the end and how we bring it all together um, to create that vision of what you want. So I told you and I share with you, please put on the, on the, on the list here on the comments, write down how many I statements did you get to? How many have you written? Okay. Listen, you don't have to be perfect. They don't have to be revised or anything, but how many did you write? So write them down on the comments uh, and I'll tell you how many I did again, because I forgot. <laughs> I think I did 90 something. 92. Okay. So I got 92 statements. That's a lot, right? Of I am. So write down here on the comments how many statements you ended up writing. And out of all of those, you're going to have a vision of you, your future you, or your you in, in having realized most of the things on this list, right? And so when you, um, we're going to do this visualization right now. This is why I'm asking you to write down how many you wrote. Um, we're going to do that. You're going to have an overall vision of what you look like while you have already manifested everything on that list, right? And so if you have a lot of things like me, like I have 92 things and I don't even remember half of the ones that I wrote down, then when you do this, um, putting it together so that you can really visualize and see it, a lot of those things that you already wrote are in the back of your mind, your subconscious, and they're going to come up for you during the meditation visualization so that you can see it and feel it. Does that make sense? All right. So we are going to do that right now. You're going to want to save this. Okay. Because this is going to be your, um, this is going to be your healing visualization meditation to really create what you want intentionally while you're awake. So this is not the while you go to sleep. Um, oh, and this, I, I missed this, uh, this message, Jessica. It says, does it work while we are totally asleep or only as we are falling asleep? What a great question. I'm so glad I, um, I got that. So as you're falling asleep and you're, you're in between worlds, you're in between the awake world and the asleep world, right? So at, that's the part that you are manifesting the most. So this is why the last thing you think about, do look here, is what runs through the night, okay? So if you're watching a horror movie and then you go to sleep, that's the last thing you watch. And then you, this is why people have nightmares because it's the last thing that was there. And then as you know, that's what you're thinking while you're falling asleep and then you fall asleep and that plays out through the night. So all the horror things that you watched are going to be playing through the night. All that fear is gonna be playing through the night for you. And you're gonna wake up the next morning, tired, anxious, scared, all of those things because you have been running the program of the horror movie throughout the entire night. Does that make sense? So that was a great question. So what we're doing here is you're taking your I am statements of what you want to create, the good things, the things that you you created, like, hey, that's what I want to be. That's what I'm going to create. That's what I am creating. That's what I am. And that's all positive because it rubs you up, right? You're like, yes, 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 right? Every time that you read a statement, you get more and more excited, right? So that's the last thing that you hear 
as you're falling asleep. And then when you are sleeping, you, that program runs through the night in your subconscious and it rewires your subconscious to be the things that you are telling it that you are. Does that make sense? Um, first thing in the morning when you first wake up, up you're not even like completely out there like getting out of, out of bed that's another window that you have to create so when you first wake up don't grab that cell phone and start looking at it and look at the news or all of the messages from your boss or all of the things you need to do because that puts you immediately in that uh, state of fight or flight of being anxious and then that's what your day looks like you attract more of that throughout the day because you started with that. Does that make sense? So again, when you wake up, and I told this to my, bro my, my brother, to my son, and he was cracking up. When I wake up, I wake up and I'm there and I'm like, oh, I love you so much. And this, I'm telling this to myself, okay? <laughs> I love you so much. I love my body. I love who you are. I love what you do. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. And I say all of this beautiful, positive things to me in my head not out loud because i'm too groggy and uh sleepy to actually speak uh, i'm a morning person but when i first wake up i cannot speak like if you ask me a question and you expect me to answer i'm like mad because like i only this part is awake and not my actual vocal cords so i say all of these things to myself when i wake up and then my day goes amazing because i've already set myself up to feeling amazing because I'm saying all of these lovely things to myself, right? And especially if you are alone or you live alone or you don't have a partner and you don't have someone to tell you these things, it starts with you. Tell yourself those things and then you're going to see it reflected on the people that you meet around. You're going to attract someone that does that for you, right? Um, I had a boyfriend many years back and he was like, did I tell you today that you're beautiful? Right? Like, oh my gosh. Yes, he's here right now. He's he's crossed over since. Um, but like that type of energy, right? Like, what? Like, have you ever had someone do that? And I tell you something like that every day that makes you feel like, oh my gosh, right? Like, even when I don't think I'm beautiful and this other person, like, right? And so then you start to believe it. You start to rewire yourself for the belief that, hey, this is possible, right? So if you tell these things to yourself in the morning when you're just waking up, everything happens for me, um, or uh, abundance is coming to me, I am healthy today, like all of those things, you say those things to yourself in the morning, then you set your day to be like that, right? And then you have that cycle of beginning your day happy. And okay, and here's something else. Somebody said, what, and it's interesting because this just dropped in and it says 1144 and the fours are about change and difficulties. So a lot of times you're like, okay, you say all these beautiful, positive things in the morning and then you get up and you go through life and then life happens, right? And then you're like, what happened? I said the affirmation in the morning and now this is happening and this is difficult or this is annoying or now I'm upset or this is stressful, right? And then we immediately go back to oh that thing doesn't work that thing didn't work because i did my affirmation and i still got the bad thing right so this happens but it happens less and less and it bothers us less and less the more and more that you do the work right so you have a program of the worst thing ever is going to happen to me and that's where the brain goes to automatically so when you're rewiring your brain to go to the positive thing, it's gonna take some time for you to be able to manifest and maintain that level of joy, happiness, love, ease, flow throughout the entire day. And when these things do happen for us, because we are human and we're living in the, hu the human experience, when you go to work and it is uh, stressful or when you get up and you feel aches on your body or, or you feel sick or whatever it is, and your brain wants to go back to thinking that, notice it. This is the first thing you notice it, you acknowledge it, and you can say, ha, huh, Valeria said it's gonna happen. It does not mean it's not working. It just means I need to wire my brain again. And that's when you stop and you take your few breaths because every time you take those deep breaths, 
you are connecting with the divine part of yourself, your higher self, the divinity of you, God, the light, whomever it is that you call it, right? That's what you're doing when you're taking those breaths. This is why meditation, when you're meditating, you feel better afterwards. This is why, because you are taking those breaths and you are forcing yourself to be in the present moment. And when you're in the present moment, by doing that, you are connecting with your higher self and you are no longer running your monkey mind telling you how terrible you are, how worthless you are, or how um, unable to do things you are, and all of those negative things that we have programmed in our minds that keep us from moving forward. Does that make sense? Let me know in the comments if there's anything that's coming up for you. I haven't seen any comments or anyone telling me how many um, I am things you wrote. <laughs> So I am hoping you guys did it because that's the work, guys. Um, also, if you're not, not actually doing the work, then that means you're not ready, right? You're not ready for the next level for you. I'm giving you the, the tools that are for free, right? I'm explaining everything to you so that you know the reason why you want to do them if you choose to do them. If you're not engaging in it, then that means you're not ready for your next step. And that's also okay, guys. <laughs> so just letting you know. Okay. So we are going to do uh, a short meditation visualization right now with your list. If you cannot do it right now, it's okay. You can just listen to it. Your subconscious is going to grab it. And then when you have time later, go back to this part. Um, it's going to be about 30, uh, at 37 minutes. You can just fast forward the video up to 37 minutes and then go right into the meditation, okay? So here we go. Take a deep breath in through your nose out through your mouth into your nose out through your mouth one last one in through your nose out through your mouth so the first thing we did is we calm down our nervous system and now we're going to open up um oval board right in front of our third eye or like in front of like our forehead our face about two feet in front and a little bit high, like put it up a little, like you're looking up with your eyes closed. And you're in there, you're going to begin to envision yourself. What do you look like according to your I am statements? So if you wrote, I am joy, then envision yourself being joy or laughing or enjoying life, right? Just see your own body. What does that look like to you? Right? If you wrote, I am healthy, see yourself. What does it look like to be healthy to you? What does it mean for you to be healthy? If you wrote, I am abundant, what does it look like? Right? Do you have like bills showering you as you're like just sitting there on your bed in ecstasy of like, yes, universe, bring me all of this abundance. Right? So whatever it is that you wrote, that is at the utmost front place for you, begin to see this on this oval white board in front of you, about two feet in front of your third eye, that's your forehead, and then move it up, slightly up, and just keep your eyes there. So it's, your eyes are closed, but you're like moving the vision upwards a little, and begin to see that, see yourself as the I am statement that is really coming through, and then begin to feel, what does it feel to be this that you created? What does it feel like? And now begin to feel into, what are you saying? What are the words that you would say as you are this thing that you are manifesting? And now begin to put in this oval whiteboard who you are saying this to who are you sharing this good news with who are you telling about this amazing manifestation that you have created who are you sharing this with how is it received what are they saying back to you to so begin to see this in your third eye again if you're imagining an oval whiteboard, 
about two feet in front of your third eye, which is your forehead, and then move it up a couple of inches. So your eyes are kind of almost rolling upwards and you're watching this happen right there in front of you. What kind of things do you engage in now that you have manifested these I am statements that you created for yourself? You want to stay here in this moment and allow your imagination to go to the feeling of what it looks like and what it feels like to be there already, to have the thing already. And as you are holding on to this vision, more and more of your I am statements are going to show up for you. So if you wrote, for example, I am healthy, and you saw yourself fit and lean and strong and happy sharing this with somebody else, maybe you're cycling with someone. Now you might be noticing your biceps or your thighs, the muscles, the strength. You might be putting your attention to different parts of your body that mean the I am statement that you wrote that is related to the I am healthy. And you want to stay here for about three minutes, which I believe we've done. And then you're going to bring your energy back to you. And then you're going to take a deep breath in through your nose. And with total gratitude, you're going to exhale with a thank you. Thank you. And so it is. Amen. Whatever word works for you, it is done. Now you go about your business, forgetting about it without expectations. This is the big one. You don't want to expect anything. You just love it. You did it. You sent it to the universe. The how is not your business. The what. What is it that you want? That's your business. The dreaming, that's your business. The how is it going to happen? That when is it going to realize? Not your business. Your business is only imagining, being there, feeling it, and then letting it go. And that's it. That's all you do. The other things you want to be doing throughout the day is when you have anxiety or anger or ang or anger again, <laughs> or something that's bugging you, because of everyday life, stop, take a couple of deep breaths, ground yourself, bring yourself back to the, I am the divine, I am light, I am love, and then go on. And then, oh no, that, that yucky feeling thought comes back, stop again, take a couple of breaths, just keep doing this so that you can purposely rewire your brain, rewire your thinking, tell your thoughts, ha ha, I caught you again, no. This time is different. This time I am purposely, intentionally changing it. I am doing something about it. I am not going to run that old story again. So yeah, here's the story of um, whatever it is, right? That's coming up for you. And nope, nope, that's not, that's not true for me in 2024. I'm, I, I've changed that. So take a couple of deep breaths. <sighs> Let it go. Okay, if you want to do the meditation, the three minute meditation again, when you visualize, do it again. If you have the time, of course, do it again, right? The more times that you are able to connect to your vision and then let it go without expectations, the faster it will materialize, all right? So I love you so much. I really hope that this was helpful for you. Please let me know in the comments how, um, how you're feeling, how it's working for you, if you're getting more clarity about what you're doing, if you have more direction about what you want, if you ha have like this like aha moments of like, wow, and now I know, blah, blah, blah. Let me know about it. Again, if you are really receiving a lot out of this and you really want to change and transform your life right now, let me know because I have so many ways for you to work with me. Um, as a matter of fact, I have a new place for you to be if you want to. It is eight weeks. 
eight weeks. It's a group place and it's only $1.99 for the next 24 hours if you wanted to do that. It's $1.99. We meet once a week for eight weeks and we work exactly on what you need. Um, we do clearings, energy healing, and you get your support and homework. All of those things one time a week, we meet together. It's going to be in the evenings. If you want to, it's going to be $1.99. That's it, guys. Why? Because I really want you to create your life that you want, okay? And then after that, it's going to be $3.99, which is still super, super uh, affordable. But if you want to do that, let me know today. You have until 12 o'clock tomorrow to let me know and sign up for that. And we'll start um, as soon as you sign up. It's going to be an ongoing thing so people can come in and out as they decide. But this is the pricing for now. So if you want to do that and you're really feeling the call and you're really feeling like, oh, my gosh, this is really changing me and I really want more, this is your chance to jump in and get into that. All right. I love you so much. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.